pendant que Michel Obama a pris information sur la situation actuelle paysan, des informations la prend sur le vif. Dans la bouche même, président de la République, la première dame, non? Somebody's giving the money for somebody. Yeah, the money. Yeah. It must be. It must be. that are uh, 
uh, feeding and caring for nearly a thousand children a day that are coming through those that particular site. They're they're reading, they're dancing, they're painting. I painted a purple fish, by the way, and it built an a excellent house. house with trees and everything. <laughs> Very good. Um, but it's uh, providing some level of stability, stability and normalcy yeah. for kids who don't really have a place to go. Yeah. Um, but what is clear is that there is still so much to do. I mean, when we flew over, we did an aerial tour uh, because it was probably the quickest and safest way. But what you see, you know, imagine a country where every church and every school has been destroyed. And at least that's what the ambassador, every church and every school has been destroyed uh, and has to be rebuilt from the bottom up. Now, that's uh, an incredibly daunting challenge, but as the president sees it, is it's, a, an, it's an, also an incredible responsibility, but it's going to take all of us. And that's what we talked about and met uh, with the UN staff, is that this has not been a U.S. effort. This has been a global effort. America has been a leader, but it has not been the only leader by any close margin. And in order for Haiti to get back to where it needs to be, it's going to take the world continuing to invest, to partner, um, to show that sense of compassion. Stepping up and seeing the world work on behalf of Haiti has been the absolute right thing to do. Uh, and it's just been a privilege for Jill and I to be able to come, to see for ourselves, to lend support to boost morale wherever, you know, I think it's important for us in America to know that we still have U.S. Embassy officials working here, working here tirelessly. They've left their families. Uh, some have sent them back home. They're living in tents. The same for U.N. officials. Um, and the world needs to understand that there's still a small cadre of people working day in and day out to, to get this country back on its feet. So. We're just happy to be able to shed a little light on the situation. God bless you. Absolutely. God bless the nation. Absolutely. So thank you all. Thank you for following us around and covering this. Uh, this has been um, an emotional but uh, important day for Jill and I. So thank you. Thank you. Based on what you saw today, do you think that the aid money that has been contributed by Americans is actually reaching the Haitian people? Yes. And, you know, by all uh, accounts, the Haitian people are very happy with the relief effort. Still, accountability is key, um, and you know I know that the governments are going to continue to work together. Uh, but I, I think that my sense of communication, people feel a deep appreciation for what the world has done. That's for sure. So, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm on it. I'll send it to you before we get to the plane. So I will. Um, I'll send the whole crew. Uh, the as. Uh, Thank you.